Hi, Albert here with Mainland Cycle Center. Today we're going to take a look at the 2015 Kawasaki Vulcan S. Brand new model from Kawasaki. A lot of exciting things to talk about and tell you about on this bike. Really have been anticipating getting one of these in. Uh, there's a lot of things that I like about these new Vulcan S's. Uh, so the Vulcan S, uh, these are a 650, 650 cc. It's a parallel twin, uh, twin cylinder motor. The cylinders are in line this way across the bike. Uh, you can see your two head pipes uh, there. These are fuel injected, of course, and liquid cooled. We've got a radiator here in the front. Uh, the styling, I really dig the blacked out styling. It's going to be available in like a, a black on black, this, you know, black blacked out look with the white and then the blacked out look in a candy lime green. Uh, this one does have a little bit of green accents. Uh, the stripe around the wheel looks really good. So let's talk about the wheels. Alloy wheels instead of spoked wheels. Disc brakes, front and rear. This one is equipped with ABS. ABS is anti-lock brake system just means that if you're hard on the brakes and a panic stopped or a low traction situation the wheels the brakes won't lock up on you if you're unfamiliar with motorcycling or you're new to motorcycling you can see this for your first bike you don't want to lock up a, especially a front wheel or even a rear wheel that usually tends to lead mean that the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to have a crash but uh, uh, so ABS is a good thing it's only $300 more for the ABS and uh, I think it's worth every penny but uh, so this is right here on the wheel is a trigger that's that this sensor reads wheel speed with communicates with a computer and an ABS motor uh, twin piston caliper on the front uh, 18 inch wheel again we talked about being an alloy wheel so it's a tubeless tire but then also it is a radial tire most cruisers on the market today have a biased ply tire and this is a radial tire when we talk about that we're just talking about the tire construction and so we've got a 120 70 18 on the front and uh, that is a Dunlop uh, and then we've got a 17 on the rear the rear tire is a 160 60 17 on the rear and, uh, uh, anyway just thrilled about the radial tires it's gonna make this bike handle real good uh, of course, the Vulcan S, the 650, you've seen this bike before if you're into motorcycles. Uh, you know, this is a similar, this is from the same family as our Ninja 650 and our Versi 650 and the, uh, what we used to sell the ER6 in here. But uh, definitely changed up, a much lower seat height, but it has a similar triangulation to the frame, a trellis type frame where the motor kind of hangs in the frame. And then you've got this shock that's laid back. The rear shock is adjustable. You can adjust the spring tension on it. And uh, we're really great. But one of the truly unique things about this bike that no one else has really done is what Kawasaki is calling their Ergo Fit system. So if you're five, uh, six, and below as far as height, uh, we can set this motorcycle up to fit you uh, when you buy it uh, at no charge. Uh, you're not going to have to spend any extra money. Uh, if you're between 5'7 uh, and 6' uh, then the mid-reach system is going to probably work real good for you, the stock setup. And then if you're six, one and up, then you may want the extended reach setup uh, for this bike. So for the reduced reach setup, there's a different seat. We would change the seat so it would have a seat that pushes you a little further forward. You also would move the foot pegs backwards. Um, and then uh, the handlebars will stay the same for the reduced reach uh, setup. And then for the mid reach, that's kind of what you see now. Of course, we can move the foot pegs to move the seat. You can do any different combination of those different setups. And then for the extended reach program, we have a seat that was set to further back than the stock seat. Plus, we can move the foot pegs forward. Plus, we have an extended reach handlebar, which is actually, I'm guessing, it's going to be a shorter handlebar. We haven't gotten the Ergo Fit parts in yet but I'm guessing they're coming very soon from Kawasaki uh, as we have them on order but uh, uh, an extended reach handlebar would be a, a longer reach for the handlebar so uh, really uh, you can set this thing up just how you like it 
without spending any extra money and that's that's wonderful it's beautiful these bikes are priced for non ABS at $69.99 with ABS just $300 more $72.99 and uh, and so I love it a really unique shape to the headlight it's not just a round headlight but it has a really interesting shape to it lots of these black and uh, this almost silver stainless looking finish it's not stainless it's a silver metallic finish on there but uh, really has a nice look they added this brushed brushed the fins on the motor and added a little accent here on the motor to uh, really make that stand out it really pops nice really great styling on it these are uh, like I said they're liquid cooled coolant reservoirs right down in here uh, they are chain drive does not come with a passenger seat but you can add a, a rear seat and foot pegs to this bike that'll be an option this one really looks great in the white metallic this bikes I've just driven down the street this one has just three or four miles on it and uh, uh, really rides great easy to drive has a very light steering feel to it even with a little more rake than we have on the Ninja 650 and the Versys they're not raked out the front end is not pushed out as much uh, a lot of times when you rake a bike like that the steering can get heavy it can kind of flop this bike doesn't feel that way at all uh, really great instrumentation. Your ignition switch is right here uh, on the front of the gas tank, and that also incorporates your steering lock. is is built right in there. Really easy, uh, but good instrumentation for a cruiser. You've got a tachometer, standard, and a 650 cc cruiser. Uh, uh, digital instrumentation, re digital readout here, and so you've got uh, odometer. Let's see if I can get in here a little bit. Hopefully, you can see this. Odometer. Uh, trip meter A, trip meter B, and then uh, that is your miles per gallon, your current miles per gallon, and then your average miles per gallon. And of course, this is not accurate. This bike's only got three miles on it, so the computer will have to go a little more. And then your estimated fuel range on the amount of fuel remaining. Uh, clock, fuel gauge across the bottom here, and uh, then a warning light, and it'll, that light's on. It'll tell you why the light's on. In this case, we don't have any oil pressure because the bike's not running start the bike up and that light will go off and we'll do that for you in just a moment uh, ABS light on that'll be on on the ABS models until you drive just a little bit and then that will go out just the computer doing its self check pretty standard controls what we're used to it does have hazard lights so you can uh, flash all four turn signals and then it does have a pass light button that that flashes the high beam right there and then of course your high and low beam horn, uh, engine kill, and then of course your start button there. But uh, adjustable levers, so you can adjust the levers with this dial, so you can even make the, the levers fit your reach of your hands on each side. So let's go ahead and crank it up and let you hear how she sounds. This is fuel injected, so uh, there's no choke. You don't have to worry about choking it or anything like that. Let's crank it up. Now when these are cold, it'll idle fast for a minute or so. And then uh, it'll idle down once it warms up. It's good. It's a quiet exhaust, but uh, nice sound to it. We don't want to just rev it too much. Being a new bike, it's not not broken in yet, but uh, really has a nice sound to it. Let's see. What else can we? tell you about this bike again I'm just really digging this bike uh, I think it's a cool bike I think it's gonna be just a really fantastic bike to get out and ride uh, for those of you who think a 650 I'm not interested in a 650 if you haven't ridden one of these twin cylinder 650s don't knock it until you've tried it they've really they're a lot of fun to ride they've got good power it's not as fast as a 1000 or a, uh, some of those other bigger bikes but uh, it really is a fun bike to ride it is a grown-up real deal motorcycle and uh, you know, I ride everything and I'm thrilled. It's uh, just a lot of fun to ride, easy to ride, easy handling, great attitude when you sit on it. And so uh, just really excited about this new model from Kawasaki. One of the, I think one of the biggest models we've seen from Kawasaki in a little while. But uh, all right, so that's a look at the 2015 Kawasaki Vulcan S.
We are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at mainlandcyclecenter.com by phone at 409-948-4969. And we would just love it. If you'd give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us in person here at Mainland Cycle Center, where we'd love to help any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.